Hi everyone, welcome back to Money Monday on my channel Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do so right now. But also you need to make sure you've switched on this button or bell icon down here because I actually publish two videos per week. Every Monday, it's Money Monday and that is where I continuously build, feed, grow your financial knowledge and education. And then every Thursday, it's Lifestyle Love and this is where I share with you something that I'm really passionate about such as minimalism or capsule wardrobe fashion. So by switching on that notification button or bell, you will know the moment I have published a fresh new video because it is waiting for you to be watched. Now today I want to talk to you about passive income, in particular growing passive income streams through dividends. First of all, what is passive income? Passive income is the true definition of authentic financial freedom. It's your money working for you rather than you working for money. So an example of passive income is earning rent from an investment property, collecting interest from a savings account, or my favorite, which is earning dividends from shares. You don't have to physically do anything, sell anything, trade anything to earn this money. It is your money working for you rather than you working for money. And the more passive income you can build for yourself, the more financial freedom you will have for yourself. And the ideal situation is to build up enough passive income so that it more than covers your living expenses and you never need to tap into the capital in your life. And this is something that I share with you and explain how to do in a really gentle organic way through the thousand dollar project in my book the thousand dollar project I show you exactly how to do this but if you've been following me for a while now you will know that I have built a share portfolio worth almost one hundred thousand dollars and it's paying a passive income stream of five thousand dollars a year now I don't physically do anything to earn that five thousand dollars a year it just gets paid to me and it is slowly growing over the long run and the value of the share portfolio is also growing over the long run I explain how to do all this in my book the thousand dollar project as you also may know I have been working around the world around the clock on my second book mindful money it is a more advanced version of the thousand dollar project where I share with you a lot more technical strategic hacks tips strategies game plans ways of approaching your finances it's the next more advanced version of the thousand dollar project but it is definitely a game changer in really trying to help you create financial freedom but understand what you are doing and why and actually seeing and feeling the immediate benefits of what you're doing so that you can are connected and committed to keep going. If you want to pre-order Mindful Money, my next book, I have linked it in the video description box below along with the $1,000 project. And if you pre-order it through Booktopia, you'll also get a signed copy from me. But all in all, these two books are incredibly powerful in peeling back the layers and making things really easy and approachable to understand and manage your finances so you actually see and feel the changes immediately. So today I want to talk to you about dividends as a form of passive income. Dividend is part of the profits that you earn from being a part owner in a business. Say for example I own $100 worth of stock in company XYZ and company XYZ come out and announce they've made a 10% profit which means it's a $10 profit. Typically in Australia we pay out about 65% of our profits to shareholders so someone like myself as a shareholder in company XYZ. That would mean I receive a dividend of $6.50 and that is my money to spend as I wish. I could do all sorts of different things with it. The remaining $4.50 or sorry $3.50 goes back into the company for the business's future growth. Things like buying new equipment, recruitment, marketing, new technology, new supplies, whatever it may be to make sure that the business continues on growing profit continuously of say 10% per year or whatever it wants to achieve. Typically with global stocks so international stocks the payout ratio isn't quite as high but they will reinvest more. Typically it's around about 45% so using exactly the same example with exactly the same numbers in that situation it would mean I receive $4.50 as a dividend a passive income stream which I can spend as I want and $5.50 goes back into that company to be reinvested for all those expenses the business can continue on growing. Now that is my money to spend as I want and even though I've received that money I still have shares in that company. I still have $100 worth of stock in that business which is hopefully growing especially now that it's had money reinvested back into it with the share price ideally growing slowly over the long run. That is a really powerful source of passive income particularly because history shows that dividend streams actually grow over the long run. So I want to share with you more about passive income streams through dividends and why I love them so much because they're actually an incredibly powerful way to build passive income in your life in a really approachable realistic way and when you put your head heart and mind to it building complete and authentic financial freedom is really quite 
achievable. All right, so reason number one why I love dividends over other sources of passive income. It is so easy to quickly start buying shares. You can actually buy shares with as little as $500. You can open up an online trading account and I have a video that shows you how to do this. And within minutes, you can actually be a shareholder in a company. The entry fees are so much easier, not like with property, it takes you like six years to save up a deposit and you have to pay so much money out in stamp duty. It's just crazy. You could literally, if you've got a spare $500, you can start building on that now. Personally, I recommend you start with a minimum of $1,000 because you have to pay for brokerage and that can range between $8 to $20. So if you follow with a $1,000 project, again, I explain how to do this and that's exactly how I've built this almost $100,000 share portfolio. But it is quick and easy. It doesn't take years and years of saving up as a deposit to buy something. If you've got some spare money, you can go and invest that literally today. And once you've bought those shares, you are entitled to some of those profits through the capital growth of that share, but also the profits through the dividends being paid to you, all which add towards your growing passive income stream. The second thing that I love from my passive income stream over other investments is no one takes any of my dividends away from me. When I receive a dividend being deposited into my bank account, that is my money to spend. I don't owe anyone any money. I don't have to pay for anything out of that. That is my money. Whereas when I compare it against the rental income that I receive, I have to pay the property manager, I have to pay the council rates, I have to pay the strata fees, the water rates, and so on. And it's really annoying because it can really, when I look at the money in my account after I've paid out all those expenses, it's so much lower than what I've received in my dividend passive income stream. The third reason why I love my dividends over shares is that they come with really great tax credits. So in Australia, we have this thing called the franking credits, and it means that when I receive my dividends, they've already had tax paid on them. And I get to keep that tax credit and carry it forward. So when I lodge my taxes at the end of the financial year, I can declare that some tax has already been paid on my dividend income. Whereas with my rental income, I have to pay tax on that rental income. So not only have I forked out all this money for holding the property, I also have to pay tax again. It really lowers the net passive income stream from that asset base in comparison to my dividends. I end up with almost double the dividend income that I do with from the, the rental property. It's incredible. It really does erode away your actual net profits when you have property versus dividends. The fifth thing that I love about my dividends is I can reinvest them. I can choose not to have those dividends paid into my bank account, but I can say, no, thank you. Please can use this $6.50 to buy more stock in that company because I really like that company. I believe it's going to continue on doing really well. With say, for example, an investment property, I can't do that. I must take that money. You can't reinvest money back into a property. And when it comes to really growing wealth and building wealth, having a dividend reinvestment plan, in particular an auto automatic dividend reinvestment plan makes it zero space for my brain to have to remember that. I can literally tick a box and it will automatically not pay the dividends into my bank account, but automatically buy more stock in the company. I just get sent a statement letting me know that that has happened. It is a brilliant way to let your portfolio grow over the long run, which means also foregoing those dividends, you're building bigger passive income streams year after year after year, and it compounds and grows exponentially. The fifth reason why I love my dividends is when the market gets volatile, you know, we see headlines of like billions of dollars wiped off the share market today and what bleeds, what leads, doom and gloom. I actually get excited because it means not only can I buy more passive income streams, but I can actually start buying those passive income streams at a discount. My $100 stock in company XYZ might be down to $90. It's still paying out the same profits, it's still paying out consistent dividends. I'm just able to pick up more of it at a 10% discount. How good is that? I love that volatility. And because I don't have the same time constraints or buying costs that you do with a property, I can quickly hustle up some extra cash, especially if I'm doing the thousand dollar project and buy more stock for my portfolio, which means I'm buying and building more passive income streams for myself. The sixth thing that I love about dividends or other forms of passive income streams is I can diversify. I have probably have between 20 and 30 different stocks in my own personal share 
share portfolio and in the thousand dollar project portfolio. I am never ever, nor would I ever recommend being reliant on one or even five different companies in my portfolio. I have a range of different companies across different industries in my portfolio. So that if there's ever a time where a company may have to cut a dividend or reduce a dividend, I'm not really bothered because my overall portfolio of passive income more than covers the, the reduction on that one particular stock. I can spread my eggs, which means I'm reducing my investment risk. Whereas for example, with property, all my money is tied up in that one property. I am subject to that one apartment in that one street, in that one side of the suburb, in that one city or state. It's very, very risky. There is no diversification whatsoever. And yes, of course I can go and diversify by buying more properties in other areas. Absolutely. That takes a lot of time and also is incredibly expensive with stamp duty. Whereas I can very quickly and easily build a diversified share portfolio as you would have seen from me doing the thousand dollar project. And then the seventh thing I absolutely love about my dividends is they're growing all the time. On average, industrial shares in Australia have grown 6.5% per year since 1979. I know for a fact that I have never consistently put my rental income up 6.5% each year without any impact. It just doesn't happen. In fact, there have been times where I've actually had to reduce my rent just to get a tenant in there when I've been in between tenants for a long period of time. But with the dividends, it just happens organically. They consistently grow over time. So not only as I add more money myself by buying more investments, it's actually doing its work for me. And when, for example, you have say $100,000 worth of shares and it's paying you say $5,000 a year in dividends and those $5,000 a year in dividends are growing each year without me doing anything at all, it's 6.5%. It means that it's more than exceeding inflation. I'm actually building and growing more passive income than I need. And that means I'm gonna have extra money left over to reinvest more, which means I'll get more wealthier or I'll have more money to give away, for example, to charity. So it's actually really helping me grow and build financial freedom indefinitely. And this is a big thing I really wanna talk about. And I'll be talking about it in another video soon where I'll be comparing the FIRE movement versus growing and buying passive income streams that build up over time. All right, everyone, please make sure you check out both Thousand Dollar Project and my new book, Mindful Money, because I explain this in so many different ways and give you so many really helpful and handy tips, tricks, and strategies to build financial freedom in your life because passive income is the number one key in your life. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week. Switch on that notification button right now and I will see you for Lifestyle Love on Thursday. Ciao for now.